Hello, this is Adam with Noma. In this video, I'll show you how to create dashboards with visualizations. A dashboard is a web page at Noma.com with visualizations and description text that has its own unique URL. At Noma.com, you can find many ready-to-use dashboards in the infographics section. Data Insights contains dashboards with analysis on many various topics. You can also create your own dashboard. Click your profile and select the Create a Dashboard option. Now, suggest one of the selected layouts. If you're having trouble deciding, don't worry. You can easily change your layout later. This is the Dashboard Builder. It has a title, description, and main body which can have any type of layout and contain any type of gadgets, charts, text, tables, maps, data set lists, rankings, and so on. To start, add a title to your dashboard. For example, Brazil market potential. To add a gadget, simply select the type you want. For example, if you want to add a line chart to the Brazil urban population forecast, click the chart icon. As the first step, you need to choose a data set from your favorites, or browse data sets by topic, source, region, or using search. How to search and browse data and adding it to your favorites is described in detail in a separate video. Let's assume that you already found the needed data sets for your dashboard and added them to your favorites. Select the desired data set from the list. Select the desired elements and dimensions, country, and series. You can customize chart layout by clicking the gear icon and adjust its appearance in the corresponding tab. This is also described in our separate video on how to work with gadgets. Once you are satisfied with the look of the chart, click Save. To add another gadget, split the placeholder. You can resize placeholders to ensure your charts look great. For example, let's say you want to add a ranking of countries by urban population to understand Brazil's position in the world. Click the ranking icon and select a data set. Select all countries you want to compare. Also, you can select Brazil as a base member of the ranking. You can also add gadgets from your favorites. For example, if you want to add a chart on China's GDP forecast to this dashboard, add it to your favorites and then paste to the dashboard. One of the key advantages of dashboards is that they can be interactive, not static. For example, if you click a country on the ranking, you'll see this country on charts. Or you may want to be able to switch between urban and rural population. To add interactivity to your dashboard, click Parameterize Link. Select the gadget you want to make dependent. Then select Parameter, which will be editable and define what the gadget will depend on. One gadget may depend on another gadget, or on the combo box, or both. Once all dependencies are set, click the Apply button. Now, by clicking a country in the ranking, it will appear on both charts. And by selecting an indicator in the combo box, it will be applied to the chart and the ranking. You can restrict the number of items available for selection in the combo box. Click the Parameterize link again. Now you can see all existing linkages. Click a combo box and you can add a title to it and restrict the selection to only urban and rural population. As you can see, titles of gadgets change automatically once they switch between indicators and the combo box. This is possible due to smart titles, which represent the name of the dimension in curly brackets, which can be combined with the custom text. For example, let's adjust title and subtitle on the bottom chart so that it is clear what indicator and country is currently selected. Edit the chart. There are two dimensions, country and series. So let's make the following title. We can use smart elements and subtitles as well. For example, we can use units to show units of measurement in the subtitle. You can see that the name of the country is changing in the chart as you select it in the ranking. You can add a text description to the page using the description editor where text can be formatted. Also, you can customize the look of your dashboard by choosing a color scheme or through the customize menu. Here you can disable borders between gadgets, apply custom banners by selecting from standard ones, or upload your own. Finally, save the dashboard. Now only you can view it, but you can share with anyone using the Quick Share option.
You can also share it with a specific person using the general sharing options. You can also export the dashboard to PDF, PowerPoint, or Excel. You do not need to create an empty dashboard each time you want to create a new one. You can save a copy of an existing dashboard to use as a starting point and then edit from there in the future. Or from the dataset viewer, you can open a visualization in the dashboard editor. All of your personal dashboards are available in your profile. Now you know how to create dashboards with Noma. Thank you for watching.